Hey everybody, it's Ozone and Eagle Eye Fi. For the last episode, we convinced the flutist, the flautist, <laughs> to uh, come back to the stable trotters. And so in between episodes, I came on back to the outskirts stable where we need to uh, talk to the maestro and find out what exactly is wrong with, uh, what is the name of their cart? Do you remember? Oh, gosh. It's got a name and I don't remember. Yeah. All right, well, let's it talk to him. the G, I believe. Yeah, yeah. Ah, look at you. I mean, listen to this. Piper's here. Aflatus Piper has made his triumphant return. Who knew how smitten Piper well, really was? Not I. Affairs of the heart are something I have yet to experience firsthand. Well, anyway. <laughs> the return of Piper's delightful flute has revitalized the stable trotters. We're ready to make some music. Every member is essential for our signature sound. Together, we are not just the stable trotters. In my heart, we'll always be the stable gallop. <laughs> you have done so much for us. I hardly know where to begin. Let me start with this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you. That's five thank yous for the five of us. Attention, everyone. This is a new start for the Stable Trotters. May our performances let the great fairies know all travelers. No, no. Let everyone in the world be awash in sweet, soothing music. Oh. <laughs> but I'd better save some energy for the performance and not fritter it all away on chatting. By the way, I remember you, traveler. Are you here out of concern for the great fairy? But of course. No? Am I wrong? You're not here to make, we meet with the great fairy, Kesa? Perhaps you came here to visit Outskirts Stable. No, of course we came for the great fairy. <laughs> I'm sorry to say the great fairy here has also withdrawn into her flower bud and hasn't come out for a while. She must be scared to appear just like what happened at the woodland stable. This great fairy used to enjoy hearing Piper play in our troupe. She loved the sweet notes of his flute. So I'm sure the sound of his flute would cheer her up now, but... But... Oh. The road has been blocked some by some rocks that tumbled out of the sky. I thought maybe we could drive over it, and we did make it about halfway. But the rubble's just too much trouble. No horses can get past it, and our little jaunt took its toll, alas. Oh. Breezer. Breezer. Poor Didn't start with a G. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Breezer, the indispensable sixth member of our troop, has broken down yet again. Our breezer has seen us through thick and thin. Without it, our hearts won't be in our performance. Well, that looks easy yeah. enough. I'm thankful Piper has returned. But I'm so worried about the great fairy that I just can't lead the players with my usual, usual flair. You know, I find it absolutely surprising and amazing that Piper can come halfway across the continent, all the way from down here at this stable, by himself, with mm -hmm. no horse, with no wagon, and yet the troop cannot walk from here to here on their feet. Mm -hmm. Every one of them traveled a good distance without the assistance of anything else, really. But... There, it's missing a wheel. Yep. Yep, I noticed that as I was picking it up. Make sure it's going the right way. Yep. And it is not. Nope, nope. Still not. <laughs> One of these days I'll get it. 
All right, that looks good. We got a steering stick over here. Yeah. So nice that they actually provide us with everything that we need. Yep. And remember to give room to put Breezer on here. Yeah. There we go. Should be able to just stick ah. this guy right on the very front. I think this guy will have to come back more toward where they are. Something else back there. Oh, it's an axe. Okay. Hey, watch it! That's easy. <laughs> All right, let's go. Get in the get in the car, man. Get in the car. <laughs> I can't possibly return. I can't possibly what? I don't know. Get in. I'll handle it. <laughs> uh, I've been waiting for those very words. Everyone, get on board before he changes his mind. <laughs> they don't even uh, don't even question. No. Well, they remember that we helped them out before. Yay! More off-roading. And it looks like this is our road right here. You know, off-roading on these machines is actually quite fun. <laughs> They're all scared and streaking. Should we drive them off a cliff just because? No. <laughs> I think it would be fine. I need to practice my chaos ozone. <laughs> <laughs> Great family, we're here! Now prepare for the performance of a lifetime! She's hot. <laughs> well, Piper's getting into it. Mimicking the maestro. <laughs> I think that's the same Yahoo that Beetle does, too. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're right. Look, Piper, look, she's awakened. Oh, I didn't know she'd be so shiny. Thank you again. I have a reward for you, and it's too much for these pockets to handle. No need to be humble. You deserve this. Nice. Nice indeed. That's better. Now I can con concentrate on our performance. <laughs> our musical troupe has finally performed for all the great fairies. Really? That was number four? I thought it was I number three. I thought it was. Okay. Well, apparently. I moved. Well, I mean, we've got all four members of the troupe. That's true. We do. I moved. I'm inspired. I'm beside myself with joy. Thank you so much for not giving up and forging on despite all the obstacles. Every time the great fairies emerged in response to our music, it gave all of us in this troupe confidence in our playing. Ugh. If you ever want to hear my beats, stop by a stable. If we're there, we'll give you a rhythm to remember. Ooh. The show's not over, far from it. We're just getting started. We'll keep playing and making the audiences smile all over the kingdom. Mm. It's up to us to 
pour all of our thoughts and feelings into our music when we play. From now on, I want our music to soothe every traveler who comes to the stables, not just the great fairies. Oh. I consider you an honorary member of our Grand Stable Trotters Troop. Might I know your name? Oh. Link, eh? Hmm, so that's what we call the hero who saved our grand troop. Yeah, yeah. I'll remember that. I surely will remember. <laughs> Our grand troop will continue playing for one and all under a new name. We are the Stable Trotters no more. Yeah, yeah. In honor of this genuine hero, let us be known as the Stable Heroes. Yeah, Stable Trotters is better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, like I said, I didn't mm. remember that we'd gotten all of them. Hmm. hmm. So you're the one who brought the musical troupe to me, aren't you? Don't be shy. I could tell it was you, even while I was in hiding. Perhaps your reward should be me joining you as a co-adventurer, hmm? <laughs> ah, I'm only teasing you, but you get even cuter when you're blushing. Aww. Ah. <laughs> uh? I really can't thank you enough, young man, but that won't stop me from trying. <laughs> if you have the materials needed, I'll enhance a piece of clothing. To enhance a piece of clothing, I'll gladly help you. So, uh, why don't you let me take a little peek in that pouch of yours? <laughs> Ooh, man, <laughs> wow. The lines. Oh, <laughs> With the power available to me, I can enhance your clothing to the maximum. Well, uh. let's see what we got. I don't plan on spending a lot of time doing enhancing at the moment, but uh, we can definitely we can bring up the Hylian gear. So yeah, that's what we've got the the high highest of. of. Yeah. yeah, it'd be nice to bring up the. Uh, uh, the barbarian gear, uh, but I don't have the materials for that apparently. Oh, great! You know, just just a Lionel horn. Two of them. <laughs> Two of them, right? Okay. Well, we'll we'll enhance what we can in between episodes uh, and come back later. <laughs> Take care. Maybe that's what we should do is try our hand at, at the Lionel again. <laughs> I haven't seen another one in quite a while. Yeah, um, there aren't a whole lot of them in the upper world like there were in the last game. I mean, they're obviously around, but we have tried our very darndest to avoid them the few times that we have seen them. Should we go and get another dragon piece? We certainly can. I just saw some ruins up here and thought I'd come up here and see what we got. But. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it looks like there's a well that we have potentially not encountered before. Yes. And a boss boat goblin with uh, his troop of merry men. Do you want to take it on or do you want to hop down the well and avoid? Oh, let's go for it. Okay. I'm I'm the uh, hop down the well and avoid type. <laughs> that was three bomb arrows. That was rather fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're all running away from me. Oh, great. That was a great time for the Master Sword to run out of power. Yeah. <laughs> Easy peasy. Easy peasy. They were only blueies. That's why I wasn't worried about it. Grab your more horns. There was more horns it. there? Okay. Although, I really liked sending three bomb arrows on them. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was satisfying. That was fun. That was satisfying. Alright, well, the dragon's gone, so down the well we go. 
Okay, this is another one of those camps. And we're going to hear... Is this is the desert a harsh environment with extreme temperature differences? Sure. But a place of death? No. The desert's a place where life truly comes alive. A sandy sea of energy where you can draw out all of your power. After all, it was under the hot desert sun where I first dined on a dish made with the fire fruit. I felt my strength light up like a flambe. Monsters I struggled against before fell before me like flies. I never felt such joy, such strength. Then the, the desert heat overwhelmed me and I collapsed in a heap. The moral is, although the fire fruit increases your strength, it doesn't offer any protection from the heat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Power and protection, such a fine pairing, and it's hard to choose one to give up. I am the man who eats his way through Hyrule's harshest environments. Chef Ari Tamu, wizard of food. Okay, well, doesn't seem... Oh, oh. so there's fire fruits. <laughs> Chef Ari was cultivating them. There was a lizard that fell by that I yeah. didn't grab. But that seems to be about all we've got right here. It's another well on the the list. We haven't talked to that person back at Lookout Landing to get the money for the wells, but no. it's kind of, I won't say insignificant, but less important, I would say now. So... All right, well, where do you think we should go? Hmm. We hadn't thought this far ahead. <laughs> I didn't think we'd get here. <laughs> oh, we can go back over here and try and uh, check out that island. I yeah. think there's probably a shrine on or near it. I would agree. There's not a lot of good places. There's obviously some kind of uh, thing there. There's another. Is that a Star Island? No, that's not a Star Island. No, I've been saying, you know, we, we kind of jumped straight up to this thing. And I kind of want to walk down all these islands to see if there's something else okay. along these islands. All right. We really didn't explore Dragonhead Isle that much. Okay. So I don't think, I'm not expecting to find a shrine. I don't know what. There will no, be. there was a shrine on the head of it, so yeah. there wouldn't be a shrine along the tail of it. But yeah, but there might be something else that's interesting. Yeah, there's probably other things. I mean, this little round bit here. Yeah, looks yeah that like looks it like a challenge in arena. Yeah, an arena of some sort. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, we oh, kind of stop and look right. What? Oh, searchable. Wow. Yes. You. you... <laughs> You're amazing. I mean, we did That's get what you pay all me the, the big stuff. Bucks for. Oh, we got a got a statue here. Yeah. I don't remember that. We well, don't have enough orbs to we pray. Don't. But what is that? Stambul. We need that. Yeah, lots of these little mushrooms to collect. Yeah. Um. Oh, dragon. That's dragon music. Hmm. Okay. I think. I think that's dragon music. No, I think that's just the music of the aisle here. Maybe. Because I don't see any dragons around anyway. Well... They might be below us, but... Well, I guess that's true. But yeah, it doesn't sound dragony up here. No, I mean, it is Dragon Head Isle, but... Yeah. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. There... Any... Turn right. What? Look up. There is... A stable? Yes. I don't know if we've been there. Probably not. Possibly. Oh, but. well, let's... Yeah. Oh, we have. Okay. 
All right. Been there, done that. Oh, there we go. Let's delete my pen. Okay. Yeah, I saw the stable and I had assumed that we'd been there, but it is good to, good to double check. All the islands are above us, it seems. We're, we're at the lowest island, so the hmm. rest of the Dragon Head Isles are all too high to get to. Well, there's possibly a way to get up there, I would think. I wouldn't imagine that they would have us travel to this island and have no way to get up. Agreed. Um, it also reinforces then that there's something interesting oh. up there to get. Yes. We've just got to figure out how to get up there. And usually that's going to be a hot air balloon or something like that. Aha! Oh, it's another diving thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Can you, do you remember how? Hey! Yeah. Let's try! Yay! It only took me like six times before. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not even joking. Nope, he's not. You didn't see that many because I actually edited them out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, yeah, it was right there. There was a stop and look to the left. There was a. Mm, somewhere up here. There was another. It was maybe down to the right. I don't know. There, somewhere over here, there was another uh, searchable pile of parts. Pile of parts. Yeah, the yeah. Uh, I do remember seeing it. Hey, I, I see something. No, that's not that. Okay, I saw that white root uh, on the side and thought that was maybe something. Ah, there it is. There it is. But I'm not seeing any Zonai devices that look like they've been left here to enable us to get well, to the going. other islands. Keep looking. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Whoops. Yep. Accidentally triggered what's-her-face. Ooh. And that's the shrine that we have here. Ah, that's the okay. shrine where we teleported into. Is that a different? I think it's certainly worth checking it out. I think that might be another. I that's can't a different imagine tree. it would be another puzzle, but it seems just like it. Well, there seems to be absolutely nothing in here. Hmm. It's the perfect place to hide a chest. Yes, it is, isn't it? Okay. I think it's for the people who get in there and check this one out first. And then go over to the other side and they're like, oh yeah, it's the same thing as the other one. I won't bother to check it. Maybe. What Is are you that the same one? Straight ahead? Uh, I think... Ooh. He hit me. Wow. Rude. You were trying to kill him. He's not supposed to kill you. Right. So that isn't the same one. Huh. And there's a gumball machine, but it's beneath us. It's not here on the top. Well, I think it's worth looking around below then. Those are dodos, I guess. They do look like dodos. I can't see where they are from all of my helpers. Yep, yep. All right, well, oh, I think... you left one. Got to get them all. Yep. Did we go down there? No, there's a chest right there, I think. There's something. Oh, yeah. We must have missed that the first time round too. Oh, oh stages stage is well. Here. Now we got four, and we can enhance one of our will sages. Yes. I wonder if you can enhance all of them, or if you have to choose one and only one. I don't know. Huh. Well, there is a goddess statue down below. 
I guess that's what we need to do. What do you think we should enhance? Which one? Uh, Tulin. You use him the most. Okay. What do you think? I agree. I mean, it's your game. You're the one who's playing it. No, I think that's the right choice. You are right that I do use him the most. And that looks like a point that we can ascend. Wait. That looks weird. Anyway. Um, I definitely use him for, you know, maneuverability and... Uh, um, Aha, I saw uh, that one. You didn't talk. No, I, I saw it. I was waiting for you to go collect the other thing, and I was going <laughs> to tell you to come back to it. Okay. But anyway, I definitely use him for maneuverability, and, you know, and he's one of the most helpful, yes. I would say, with this arrow shot. He gets a lot of those uh, eye mm -hmm. shots that stun the mobs. Right. So. Or, uh, uh, Yonobo. No. Minerva. <laughs> <laughs> Minaru. Minaru. Uh, you're right, Minaru. We that could be definitely useful. Let's see what she has to say. Okay, she's. You have four sages' wills. Yeah, you get to choose, and Minaru could be one of them. Will make your bond stronger with any sage you choose. I wish I knew what that did. Right. You know, if that means that Tulin is going to be able to push us more. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's useful. Right. Uh, if Minoru got, say, another attachment point where we could put something on or the battery went less quickly, probably. That's probably it, honestly. Yeah, I it don't probably... think there would be any more attachment points. No, you're right. Um, I'm torn. Mm -hmm. I'm torn. Do we got a lot of the deaths to coin? do. And Minoru is going to be, and always is, essential in the depth. Do you need to flip a coin? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. I got He's a, digging a, out a coin out of his pocket right now. Better than a coin. Oh, okay. <laughs> so when we got married, we had created things called path tags, which are essentially little coins. And if you look them up, it's literally P-A-T-H. T-A-G, you can go and um, look up and have your own coin created for whatever you want. And we had one created for our wedding. And um, so we can flip this coin yep. and figure so out. Hearts, it's Tulin, and Sunset, or Beach, it's uh, Minaru. Okay. All right. All right. Well, that was a terrible flip i literally just <laughs> tossed it straight up in the air and it came straight back down there was no flipping in whatsoever <laughs> okay that's beach i don't so remember that was Minoru. okay i think that was Minoru. yeah all right <laughs> all right Minoru. Minoru wins all right Solemn vow of Minoru, sage of spirit, you, the strengthened vow of Minoru. Your reinforced bond with Minoru has increased her construct's attack power. So, okay. So she's stronger on attack. Mm -hmm. Cool. Cool. That was a long drawn out thing, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, well, that was very interesting. Yeah. And now I think we got a better idea... See, because we don't have, we have a helmet for Tulin, uh -huh. so we can increase Tulin just by wearing the helmet. Yes. Uh, but we don't have anything for Minoru. Right. So that that maybe is a better reason for choosing Minoru like we did. Yeah. What was this thing again? Oh, oh, that's where we found Minoru's mask. You're right, and then we we rode the the sky thing down to the bottom. Yeah. This is where we found Minoru's mask. Well, then it's poetic then it, as well. Yeah. We, that we, that's who we needed to at this place. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we got some birds and some rockets so we could maybe yeah. fly up to 
those other higher islands. Yes. They're, they're, they're quite high up, and these birds don't last very long. No. But uh, I think it's worth a try. But uh, that is, seems like an, uh, something for the next episode. So we'll, we'll stand here and with the lovely sunset behind us. Yay. It's kind of bleeding out the picture, unfortunately. That's all But right. it is a lovely sunset. It is. And uh, say goodbye. And uh, we'll do that in the next episode. All righty. So until then, remember, be excellent to each other. We're out. <laughs>